Oh yeah, it's time. Welcome back, DNW. I am your gamer and commentator, Patrick Griffin, and today we are going to be starting our first Zelda game. My favorite kind of series of games for Nintendo. There's a lot to Zelda, for sure. Um, in this specific one, you start out as kind of a... You're a kid, but you're like a descendant of this um, knight's family that protect the uh, the king. And Zelda, who is the princess of Hyrule, which is the land. He got a distress call, so he ran out. <coughs> like I've said before, in many games, if you've never played Zelda before, um, you definitely should. Especially if you like puzzles. It's a nice puzzle game. Most Zeldas are similar to uh, to Mario. How Zelda, I mean, I guess how Zeldas kind of work is uh, you usually start out as a nobody kid, and your land, Hyrule, mainly the castle and the princess, get attacked, and you have to help them. And you kind of get like called up by some magical force or by some creature or something that helps you. And you have to step up and become this hero that takes down um, the main bad guy, whose name is Ganon, Ganondorf, any form of Ganon like that. I just took his sword and shield because he's uh, either dead or just hurt. But similar to Mario is what I mean by. Um, Pretty much every Mario game is Mario saving Princess Peach from Bowser. Pretty much every Zelda game is Link saving Princess Zelda from um, Ganon, Ganondorf. And the weird thing, and I don't know if it is with Mario as well, but the weird thing with Zeldas is that they're all intertwined, kind of. They all have like a, they're all in the same timeline. They have a timeline. And actually have a I'm about to get my ass kicked. Actually have a uh, little encyclopedia that has all the Zeldas and kind of in the order and all the creatures you fight and all this stuff, which is pretty cool. Up to um, just before Breath of the Wild came out. And it kind of sets it up for you. For instance, this is obviously an older game, but it's not the first in the timeline of Zelda's. Which is interesting. So you storm the castle, try to save the princess who's been attacked. Pretty much each dungeon's gonna lead you into like another room. Like I said, it's kinda like a puzzle. That's your dungeon map. In case I need to see where I'm at, press X, and it kind of gives you this screen here of where to go. Hit them off the edge like that, and there you go. And then you'll... As I mentioned before, you play as this character Link in pretty much all the Zeldas. Um... You can call him whoever you want, so I obviously give him the name Bost as we go through. But he is your guy that you control, and he will, throughout the uh, Zelda games I'll play on this, um, you'll see how he kind of stays similar. You know, doesn't really change too, too much on who he, who he is. The weapons change a little bit, but they're also very similar such as this boomerang and other ones will be similar in later games. I will be playing all the Zeldas eventually. By all of them, I mean I only play four, but one for each console on this channel. So I'll be playing this, Ocarina of Time, um, Twilight Princess, and then Skyward Sword. 
will all be in here and they will be in that order because I want to um, do that to kind of show you how they've changed as far as oh wrong one as far as uh, like the way they're designed and the way they all the stuff you can do and maybe explain to you why I don't really care for Breath of the Wild as we go on this is Zelda she was apparently imprisoned in her own no just in a castle not her own castle I guess we gotta take her to the sanctuary is what she asked to be taken to so we will be doing that I didn't play the Mario's in order. I should have, but I missed uh, Super Mario World, which I'll eventually be on this list of games to play. But starting with, if you look at it, starting with 64, you know Mario 64, and then Sunshine, and then I'll continue with Galaxy. So I'm going to try to 100% this for you, and by that I mean pretty much get all the items and get um, 20 hearts get full life so I'll show you where all the heart pieces are and I'll show you where all the items are as far as like weapons you can get so she said just make it to the the main front there should be a throne push it from the left now we're going into kind of like a little secret sub basement floor oh fucking rats oh I'm just gonna run right into him So you can use your lamp that I got to light it on fire. I'm not too worried about lighting stuff on fire. Mainly. Because I kind of know where to go. If you want money, um, you can hold up to 999. And it's always good to have a good amount in here. There's a lot of stuff to buy. Weird ass, like cobra looking snakes. Not really sure what those are supposed to be. Certain creatures you'll see also as uh, the graphics get better and as things uh, develop more, you'll notice the same. Oh, you know what that is? That's a fucking keys, and that's an actual keys because in this game they're called keys. And this one, they're just regular. Later on, there will be some fire and ice keys, and it's not cool. <clears throat> and electric keys, if you count uh, Skyward Sword being sick. Sick bastard. And that's what you want. Green are 1, blue are 5, red are 20. And uh, should be in all games just like that. And then, if you come across like an orange one, I think that's 100. And if you come across a silver one, this should be 200, but those are, I think, in later, later games. Thank you, Keese. It's like, do you want to check through for all the, all the money? This is one of the more expensive Zeldas out of the ones I play. Ocarina of Time is probably the cheapest as far as things you need to buy to continue through. Nothing. Alright. Let's make sure there's no more bad guys. And someone turned on the lights. It's weird. Oh! Later on, you'll be able to drop back in here with bombs. Walls like that right there that have that kind of circular indent crack. You can bomb those and get through. But I think under here is just, um, like money. 
money and items you can use. Which I'm not too worried about. I say I feel like there's one more. 98 already. That's good. I need a good amount. Now you want to pull the one on the right. Technically. But I'm going to pull this one. Just so it drops these guys. Because I want to get some gold. Yeah. I know how to do it. Drinking rules. Um... Pretty much going to be all side bets for this one. Mainly because I don't want to do something basic like every time I get hit. Because you, I will get hit a lot in this game. So we'll just do uh, side bets all the time. I'll just give you the you know, one-off bets. Some of them will be probably a drink each time something happens. And some will be maybe a D6 if something does or does not happen. Return Zelda, they say thanks. They give me a map of where to find this guy that's going to help me out. And I get a full heart. Every time you beat a temple, beat a boss, you get a full heart. Um, this was just kind of the first beginning area, so I don't know why they gave me one, but... You will get full hearts. Classic Zelda music. We are going to first go down to Kakariko Village. Grab some heart pieces and some bombs and shit. We can go down here first in this little grass hut. It's a little puzzle down here to get. They're all 20. They're all worth 20. Push this. Push that. Ooh, I think I might have fucked up already. Maybe not. Ooh, maybe I did. Yeah, I might have fucked up already. No, maybe not. Actually, push this. Each one can get pushed once in one direction, and then you're kind of screwed. But we'll do it like that. That's what you need. That's what you like to hear. There's a cracked wall, but I don't think there's anything in there. I'm going to grab some bombs in a second, so if there is something in there, um, I'm going to go back and maybe check just to make sure. Jump off that cliff, drop through the hole, hit some bombs here. Hit start, you just get on get on the bombs and then you're good to go. Y uses all your weapons. There's one. So once you get four pieces of hearts, which they're kind of scattered throughout Hyrule. Once you get four pieces, then it'll give you another full heart for your life. So between beating temples and finding hearts in the wild, you should equal out to your um, full life. I'm going to use one down here just to make sure. I don't think there's one here, but I haven't played this game in a little while, so I'm just going to check. Good. Glad there is one because uh, I would have let that go and then probably forgot throughout the game. So, in here, you can talk to this gypsy looking guy. He'll give you a bottle for 100 rupees. You definitely do it. 
Bottles are good for holding life. They're good for holding fairies as far as um, for extra life and extra hits. Fairies are nice. If you die, um, fairies will come back, bring you back to life. So you don't have to worry about using life, which is also an option. You can just go until you die, and then the fairy will bring you back, which is a good, good thing to be aware of. So this kid right here, you want to talk to him next to these water down kind of bottom left side of Kakrika, that Kakriko, which is where we're at now. This music, get used to it. You'll hear it a lot in here and probably Ocarina of Time. This house on the right side has kind of sleeping guy. And there's a little picture of Mario up there. You want to talk to this guy now that you have a bottle. He said he's sick. Probably got COVID. But he gives you this net. The net helps you grab bugs and fairies. You don't need bugs to put in a jar. You can. I never use them. Um, I don't see why you would. Now the jar here. So if you didn't buy the one, you can grab that jar first if you want. You just walk into the back of this building here. Buy a jar, get a jar, and then we're not going to get the other ones for a little while anyway. So we're good to go. Continue through Kakariko down on these bottom areas here. We're going to come through here. There's a wall to blow up. This kind of this guy has a twin. And he's worried that he can't get over to his twin, but his twin's right there. So we're good to go. But you come out over here. She bets 15 seconds to get through and talk to the other guy. Um, we're going to do D6 on whether if I fail this, we'll do D6. Oh. Ooh, 14. Normally you get it 13 or 14 if you just run like that. Grab another piece of heart. That's all that was for, for a heart piece. I don't have to drink D6. I'll probably bet D6 is on stuff I'm sure is not going to happen, just so I don't have to drink a shit ton. For stuff that takes me usually a couple tries, I'll do a drink. Do a drink per. I'll let you know. Get off I could use, I'll say I can use more bombs. There's usually some in these plants here, but you just gotta, just gotta check. So on the map, if you hit X twice, it shows you right up there in the corner. That's where I'm gonna go. Not up in the corner, but on the right side. That's where I'm gonna go first. Talk to this guy who will give me locations of three temples. These three temples will have medallions of some kind that I need to collect to be able to grab um, the Master Sword. And the Master Sword, which is in most Zelda games, is pretty much the evil vanquishing sword that you always get and you use it to destroy Ganon because it Ganon's pretty much pure darkness and this sword is light of some kind, so... So I kind of just did a little counterclockwise around the whole world. There's other places, obviously, to check out. So we are not done, but we're just going to continue the storyline. Ooh! Not get hit by these. Octoroks is what they look like, and what they're called. They um, just shoot those little pellets, look like little octopuses. So you talk to this guy. I think he gives you talks about these pendants, which is one in each temple. Nope. 
more bombs. Always a good thing. Well, that's why I switched back to the lamp. I was like, why don't I have my bombs? Makes sense. Bunch of money, which is good. Um, I need 500 to buy an item, and then I'm gonna need 500 more to buy another item in the future, so that's good to have them. These, I assume, are called, um, I'm assuming those are supposed to be Armos, which are uh, statues that come to life. The ones, I'm, the ones I call out are usually ones we're going to be seeing in other Zelda games. I will play the Zeldas in the order, like I said, but I uh, I will not play them all right now. You know, they'll all be spread out between other games in the middle. But the next Zelda I play will be Ocarina of Time sometime in the future. You're entering the first temple. Which I think you want to go to the left. Nope, you want to go straight in the middle. This is not the temple I thought it was. So this little switch that opens the doors. Right there on the ground, you just walk over it. Coming up here to get money. In the beginning of this game, um, money is pretty easy if you kind of just follow what I'm doing there. Some items, some bad guys drop it. Luckily, a lot of those snakes that I killed inside the um, underground of the sanctuary, some of those gave me red rupees. That's not always the case. You might get shafted. These, I think, are Stalkins. Stalkins is what they're supposed to be. If it has the name Stall in it, it usually means skeleton of some kind. So stalk, Stalkins. We're going to see some Stallfos later on. And there should be Stall Hounds, but I don't think they're in this game. But there are some in at least Twilight Princess. So I said a lot of these are kind of like a puzzle. In this case, you don't can't go into there yet and grab that thing because you need uh, like a boss key to open this giant chest, which usually the giant chest is the weapon in the level. So just continue straight across. Temples are very much like entering the same rooms over and over again, kind of doing like a run through once and uh, usually there's parts of the temple you can't enter yet until you get the weapon and then the weapon for the temple helps you um, go to unreachable spots in the temples all Zeldas are usually like that I'm just gonna walk by him in most Zelda in most Zelda temples you have a weapon that you need to get and you have a boss that you need to kill to get whatever item you're looking for yeah come over here bitch it's one-eyed fuck really There you go. So once you kill them, these things open. Oh, they're going to hit me. They're going to hit me so good. That's your boss key. The big key. Opens up several different doors. Including these ones that have a bigger, like, keyhole in the front. But now we're back to that one room. Right before you go and get the boss key where I just was. So we're going to use it to open up this. And we get the bow. The hero's bow. Fairy bow, whatever they call it. Bow. Which is a normal weapon in Zelda. In all of them. 
bow is probably your more iconic weapon, as well as the hook shot. But, uh, what the bow really means is when I shoot ya, it's gonna hurt. And it will. Right in their fucking eye. That's just for money purposes. I got 500, so I'm good to go. Oh, one of these gives me... What am I doing? Oh, and then he turns around. Look at that, there's an arrow on the back of his head. Same, Why shoots. I think you can hold up to 30. Shaboom. That's the one you hit to open the door. You don't have to kill those guys, you just run away. I think this back top one is also the one. Opens the door, just keep going. So the red ones, you can't just cut. You gotta actually hit them with their arrows, which now that they're dead, I have no problem lifting up these. And this little symbol here, this kind of like longhorn sheep skull, usually means you're getting to where the boss is. So. Ooh, I don't want that. There'll be more here anyway. Double hit in the eye is what kills him. Pretty much good to go. So we're just gonna go fight the boss. And that's the music for when the boss starts. I don't like to waste arrows. I don't know how many it really takes. It's a good handful, but. Sometimes it misses, which is what drives me nuts. So, just get them like this. Once you're down to the last one, he's gonna start trying to land on you. You just shoot him. Until he fucking dies. You get your heart for beating the boss. We get a pendant which is one step closer to the Master Sword. Then we're gonna go talk to the guy again. He gave us the location of one. Oh, he did give us all three. Okay, and the Master Sword. I thought he just gave us the location of one. But we're gonna go talk to that guy again so he can give us some speedy boots, which is what we always wanted. Talk to this guy. Speedy boots. There's no wings on them, but they do go fast. It'll be helpful. Helps to run like that. Can I do a little dash charge? Pretty much invulnerable to anything. And oh, and now we can move on to the second temple, which we will. I'm gonna go grab some stuff, do a little lap around, and then we'll probably save it before the second temple. Try to keep these a little bit shorter than. Uh, then DK 64, you know, try to get him up to an hour. I'll try to get him mid 30s, and that should give us like I don't know 10 parts. 
game usually takes five hours when I uh, when I do it on here and talk to you guys. Usually it takes a little bit longer just because I'm narrating and pausing and doing stuff like that. Oh, it's not good. Not good. I want to get more bombs if I can. But I don't see any. So we're just going to continue. Going back the way I came, pretty much. Long ways. The second temple is going to be in the desert, which is down in the very bottom left corner. But I want to grab some stuff while I can. Usually a good thing in Zelda, once you are able to grab stuff that's in Hyrule, because Hyrule is full of a bunch of random crap. Once you're able to do it, do it. That way you can check it off your list on things you need to do, and you can not have to worry about wondering where everything is. Floor it through. Nothing here. This thing, you want to charge, creates a little door, a little downward step, and all this is just a straight heart piece. But that's the fourth one. Now I have six hearts. We are on our way. I don't know. There is a heart piece up here, but I do not know. Oh, I'll say they're going to attack me. Angry birds. And not the game. There's a tree up here, but it is not able to be taken yet. So we are going to look, see what I got, see what I'm looking at. Can't get the slippers yet. The flippers to swim. Everything else looks... Alright, so we will... You can actually save and quit just like that. And we'll continue this in part two, jumping into the second temple, getting the second pendant.